Thank you. Maybe we should just get started. Um, Mark is up first with the image editor. Um, there's Mark. Shows that he's online, just not his, his video. Uh, uh, I'm here. I'm here. There's some There's feedback some... coming in from the room, I think. Room, I think. Anyway, I'm, str anyway, I'm trying I'm to shoot trying screen, to share. screen share. If you can't see it, then I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Naharika, could you mute uh, your microphone? Mark, you might need to turn on your camera to present. Can you uh, toggle that? Uh, sure. I, I'm trying to screen share, though, not demo. Oh. Uh, can somebody confirm that they can see the screen share? Screen share? Yeah, I'm seeing your screen. Screen. And now okay. I see myself. Okay. I see myself. Yeah, so you have Spotify running in the tray in the bottom right. Is that correct, Mark? Is that your Yep, screen? that's me. That's me. Okay, cool. Well, I, I think we can get started. This might be brief. It's pretty early in San Francisco, so thanks for all of the uh, people who showed up really early. Um, Mark will be our first uh, demo today, and uh, why don't we get started? All right. Uh, All right. I have, um, oh, sorry, somebody's getting echo from me. Or, oh, no, we're good. OK. So this is a little demo that we've got from uh, Pratik, who has built uh, a little front end tool to edit an image in place and then save it. And this is going to go into an extension in MediaWiki, and we're going to hopefully have some Commons uploaders uh, uh, a little happier with being able to edit things on Wiki. Uh, we've only done a couple of features here so far, but you can rotate it, rotate it, flip it, flip it, both directions, directions, and you can crop it, you can crop it, either visually or with the uh, text up here, I believe. Oh, no, I was wrong. I'll crop that. And then you can save it right now to, uh, and this is just a, <clears throat> I believe, a data URL. And it gives you the full size. So yeah, this is the tool that we're going to be building into, uh, into a MediaWiki extension and putting on Commons as a beta feature in the next couple of months here. here. And that's all I've got. Thank you. OK, next up is Monty. Are you able to hear us, Monty? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, could you share your screen? OK, we see your screen. Um, so take it from here. So the first thing was, if you can still see it, um, we added the ability to do force touch on the icons and jump directly to either random nearby um, or to let you continue reading an article because I wasn't formally reading an article that's why you're not seeing continue reading here sure. um, or to jump directly to search so I'll just tap on nearby and you can see it jumps straight to the nearby interface um, um, 
if you if wanted to you jump, wanted to jump to straight to search, you can just pop can straight into the straight interface. interface. Um, the second, second thing I was going to show, I have to kind of hack here. here. So give me just give a me second. Just a second. And what this should do is present a work in progress um, trending article. So it's using an API that shows us um, page views to see for a given language wiki which articles are the most, are most perfect in the previous previous And so, so here you see, here you see um, MLK, MLK, like for, like for um, MLK, MLK and so on and, and so, so forth and so forth. So we've got a few, got a few things ironed out, ironed out on the back end before, before you know, to go to go with this. With this but I don't think I don't there's 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 blockers, blockers, so, so hopefully we hope we look next. next. Um, go on, go on, go on, let's do a development cycle. Development cycle solution, actually, actually, actually. all I've got, all I've got. Okay, thanks, Monty. Cool. All right, uh, Dimitri. Hey, hey. Sorry, can you, sorry, can you still have the sound before, before you continue? Before you continue. I'm sorry. Can you say that again, Ed? Yeah, on the, yeah, on the last presentation, presentation and on this one, on there's, one just, there's just echo, probably, echo from the room. probably from the room. Yeah, we've got our, our microphones turned off. Um, anybody who is on the video right now, if your microphone is turned on, could you please turn it off if you're not presenting? Testing, testing, testing. testing. I'm hearing my I'm own hearing voice my own voice going going. Yeah, we can hear you, Dimitri. But am I echoing to you? Echoing? Echoing? Okay. We don't hear the echo in San Francisco. Um, oh, that's weird. Uh, that's I'm weird. hearing I'm hearing it. Uh, I, I guess I can. Uh, I guess I can get through this, get through this by just by just speaking. Like, speak, mic and mic and pulling, pulling. I don't know. I don't know. Pulling the speakers, pulling out, the speakers of my, out of my. Ears. Can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? Yeah. Still getting an echo in the remote. I didn't get that didn't at all. Get that at all. We can hear you just fine. I would say probably turn down the audio on your side. Um, Brendan, I think as far as we can tell, everything's okay on the side. You might just have a feedback effect on the internet, too. All right, I'll just right, I'll talk, just and, talk uh, and, uh, and uh, I'll monitor, I'll monitor the chat channel for anything. For anything. I still so, know what you're saying. Right, here we go. Here we go. So I just wanted to I'll highlight, wanted to highlight uh, one, one, one. Simple little Simple new feature in the future to happen. Um, um, I recently, I recently added, added this little this toolbar, little toolbar underneath, underneath the image, image, where we have Sorry, guys, we, we quick still can't hear a single thing on the remote. Save yeah. the yeah. Yeah. page and share it, share it. And also, and also the page has a, a geo, a geo coordinate, coordinate to go to the location, the location in your in your default maps, maps, maps on the device. On the device. Um, um, please, but, there's, there's uh, no point continuing. Nice there's thing, there's nice no one remote, remote can hear anything. Can hear anything. It's just we like found an API on Android to automatically pull the dominant color color out of the lead out image, of the lead image, and we're and coloring, we're coloring the strip, strip using that color that color. Hang on, let me check yeah, the chat here. Chat here. Sorry, what's happening Sorry, what's with sound happening now? With sound now? We're not sure why um, there's an echo, uh, because everybody is muted. Um, and I'm turning off the microphone like when I speak into it through the AV. There, there isn't another microphone like sitting back there by any chance, is there?
Um, yeah, we might just have to make do and cross our fingers and hope that the audio uh, works <laughs> uh, and we'll be in the recording. So sorry about that, but um, yeah, I don't know if there's much we can do about it right now. Yeah, can we, what happens if we mute our stuff? Will that break the recording, Brendan? Okay. Okay, we'll mute right now. And am I echoing now? All right, remote folks, am I okay? Cool. Then I will proceed. Okay, so as I was saying, we recently added this toolbar below the lead image where we have quick access buttons to save the article for offline reading and then share it. And if it has a geolocation, you can go to that location in your Maps app. Um, but a really nice, cool thing about this is that uh, we found a little known API in Android that takes the lead image and automatically pulls out the dominant color from the image, or not necessarily the dominant color, but sort of highlight colors. And we're coloring the toolbar using that color. And what I like about it is it's not always the color that you might think that it pulls out. So like for this one, it takes the color of the bridge. And you got this nice little effect. I don't know, I really like it. It's like a whimsical little design feature. Uh, and we can try going to a different article, right? And it gets recolored using the color of this image. Go to something else. All right, there we go. So just a fun little touch that we've added that I think works pretty well. And that's all I wanted to show. Um. Hey, is Ed still on the, the chat or on the video? I think he had something lined up or was someone else going to present? I'm not sure where that line entry went. Okay, it looks like Ed's in the etherpad and he's just about ready to go. We should mute ourselves now. Hey, Ed. Um, oh, it looks like he dropped off, actually. Uh, Ed, could you unmute your microphone, turn on your camera, uh, do screen sharing? Dimitri and Steven, you guys will probably want to stop your video um, and your audio if it's turned on.
Ed, Ed, we see you, but we don't uh, we don't hear you yet. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me now? Yep. Okay. Um, I was getting a lot of feedback on the last two calls. Um, so just before I start, just to mention that if you don't monitor the chat channels, then you have to listen to us because as far as I could tell, nobody remote could hear the light, the end of the second talk and the start, at least the start of the third talk. Um, and they just seem to carry on regardless, um, which isn't very helpful. So I'm going to try and work out to share my screen. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, which button am I looking for? This one, content share. I swear I've already installed this extension. Okay. And can we see my screen? Yeah, we can see it. Okay, thanks. I'm actually going to switch to a different page. Okay. Um, so we've had table editing in Visual Editor for about a year now. Um, but doing sort of big moving of cells around is quite difficult. You can only really edit one cell at a time or uh, insert one row at a time. Um, so we've been working on, to begin with, um, moving whole rows and whole columns. Uh, okay. And um, so I'm just going to give you a quick demo of how that would look. Um, first of all, you're probably all aware that moving a row in Wikitext is not too difficult. I can just pick up this row and move those lines. But to move a column, for example, if I wanted to move uh, this goals column to the left of the scorer, I would have to go through and, and do this and then do this and repeat that n times for however many rows I have. Um, excuse the lack of messages and icon there, but it should say move before and move after. But there you go, you just hit that and it will move it around. Um, and then as you can see, it does all that complex wiki text manipulation for you. Um, there are sort of some very horrible cases to do around merge cells in HTML tables that makes this a little bit harder and um, eventually obviously this will be a drag and drop user interface but for now we're just testing the back end um, so we could sort of stop people from trying to split cells at the moment it will just try and do something sensible um, here you can see it's move that under that grouping and if I move it out it moves it out of the grouping um, tab HTML tables are actually even more complicated than um, than regular cells in, in some cases because if, if I merge these three cells together and then delete all of these um, this now looks like a two column table but because this one still has that call span it's actually a, a four column table um, so you get lots of uh, confusing edge cases like this mostly do with merge cells but uh, we'll be working on those trying to get those sorted out uh, that's all thanks Nice work. Um, and that actually concludes our demos for today. Um, I expect next month we'll have more demos. We're just getting into the swing of things this quarter. Thanks again for everybody who showed up early um, and for everybody who showed up online. See you next time.